Closing in fast. Get to the safe zone. This is set. Oh. Eliminate all targets in the AO. What's up guys and welcome back to Software Knowledge Solutions and today we're talking about Call of Duty Warzone 2.0 or just in general Call of Duty Warzone 2, whatever the fuck you want to call it. A lot of people are experiencing game stutters, FPS loss and bad gameplay experience. Now I probably jumped out of the plane like 500 fucking times just to address these problems, just to help the Call of Duty community. So please, for the love of fuck, leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe to my YouTube channel if you're new year. And if this worked for you, please smash that like button. For the love of fuck, it takes a lot of dedication to make these type of videos. It really, really does. Honestly, Call of Duty Warzone is an absolute fucking mess of a game. And you need to jump through hoops to be able to play the fucking game. So please, for the love of fuck, smash that motherfucking like button. Now this is for people out there that's experiencing this issue over here and FPS. A lot of people are jumping out of the plane where they get quite close to the ground and they get a micro stutter right before they open their parachute or quite close to you opening your parachute you get a micro stutter as you're looking at the ground your roads go black your map looks really weird for a split second and then all of a sudden you open up your parachute some people are getting the stutter so bad that they can't even open their parachute okay so it's quite bad then people are experiencing this as well as soon as the plane comes up on your screen and you're looking at your fps your fps is the highest it can go and then all of a sudden as the plane comes up it drops all the way down to four fps or even lower sometimes people are running like one frame right and then your character stands up you're doing about 30 fps 40 fps as max while being in the plane and your character is walking and until your it shows the complete plane then your frames climb up to where it's supposed to be and yeah pretty much a lot of people are having very bad gameplay experience fps loss game stuttering and just the game in general being absolutely atrociously bad while playing the game so something that's very very important inside your game at this very moment and it does increase fps is this over here you're going to go to file explorer and just open up your file explorer and you're going to go to documents you're going to go to call of duty players and you're going to go to this file over here that says options 3 cod.22 open this up with a notepad or anything that you can edit with and then scroll all the way down till where you see renderer work account now i have an 8 core 8 thread cpu it's a 9700k so it's 8 cores right so what you're going to do is you're going to half your cores inside here so if you have a 6 core machine now, I don't know why, for some reason, if you have a 6-core machine, I don't recommend putting it at 3. You can try it, but I do recommend putting it at 4 as well. It does actually work. If you have a 8-core machine, then obviously 4. If you have a 12-core machine, then obviously 6. And from then on onwards, right? So basically, just half your cores of your CPU. From there, what you're going to need to do is you're just going to click on the file over here and say save and then close out of this and this will actually give you an increase of FPS about 20 to 30 FPS increase. You might get 15. It depends on your type of GPU that you're running and your type of CPU that you're running inside your machine itself. So that plays a very, very big role inside your game. Trust me, it does. You need to go ahead and do that right now at this very moment if you haven't done that already. Now something that's very, very important as well is obviously this over here. So you're just gonna click on the start button over here and go to settings and go to update and security. Make sure that your Windows is up to date on a regular basis. Now it doesn't matter if you're running Windows 10 or Windows 11, Please, for the love of fuck, go ahead and download the latest drivers for your Windows and your graphics card. It plays a very big role inside your games, not just Call of Duty, your games in general. If you don't keep your Windows up to date, your game's going to suffer if you don't keep your computer up to date and your graphics card up to date. So now, once you're done with that, I highly recommend if you are an NVIDIA user like me, right click on your desktop and open up an NVIDIA control panel. And then once the video control panel has opened, this is what you're going to need to do. You're going to go to adjust image settings with preview and you're going to go to use the advanced 3D image settings and click on take me there. Now basically when you click on take me there, this is going to take you over here to manage 3D settings. 
Now, like I said before in my previous videos, the reason why I don't use program settings and actually go to Call of Duty is I use global settings because it will actually help for you, not just for Warzone, Modern Warfare 2, it will help for every single game that you're playing out there at this very moment right now. This is why I use global settings. Now, all you need to do is just copy my settings over here. You can just pause my video, just copy my settings. This is the most important thing inside this game right now for Warzone, basically Warzone 2, go ahead and put this on 100 gig. This is the shader cache. Now, this plays a very, very big role inside your game on lag and stutter while you're in the plane and when you jump out of the plane and why your FPS is dropping all the way to about 30 FPS. Now, by putting this at 100 gigs actually will save you from having those stutters and stuff like that. I highly recommend putting this on prefer maximum performance. Choose your GPU, have this at auto, off, off and off on high performance again on quality allow and off and then on on off and then obviously these are just virtual reality you do not need this at all and then go ahead and apply these settings if you haven't done so already and then go to adjust desktop color settings now i highly recommend you go ahead and copy these three over here and then from there you click on image three and then go to your digital vibrance and go ahead and select where you want to put it you'll actually see this image become black and white so the more you push this up the more digital vibrance you're going to have inside your game and then you can also tweak those color settings inside the game as well with the color customization it will just make the game pop and look much much better so go ahead and put this on your own personal preference mine's 90 as a sweet spot and then i go ahead and apply these settings over here and then i close out of this go to search and type in settings or just go to start and go to settings over here go to gaming and then go to game mode go to game mode over here and go ahead and turn this on this actually does increase fps and it actually does help so go ahead and turn it on it plays a very big role with warzone at this very moment you're going to go to graphics settings over here and now at this very moment with the new updates you're going to go to hardware accelerated gpu scheduling and turn this on now it might ask you to restart your computer just watch my video finish and then go ahead and restart your computer after everything is done you're going to go to browse over here and browse where your game is installed so mine's installed over here just go find where your game is installed now I highly recommend you go ahead and add these two over here so the cod one over here and say add as you can see i already added it and then you're going to go one back and then add the launcher as well and you're going to have both of these over here and put them both on high performance which will select your gpu say save click on this one go to options high performance and then save now if you do see a decrease in fps by adding these two things because call of duty is so fantastic right now it's probably the most optimization it's probably the most optimized game on the planet. No, I'm just fucking bullshitting you guys. It's the fucking worst game I've ever played in my entire life. Go ahead and just remove these if you do see a decrease for some reason. Now, I don't know if that's a thing. Apparently, my friend told me when he added the two games inside here, he decreased FPS. I don't even know how that's fucking possible. I honestly don't know how that's even possible. But... Just go ahead and remove it if it doesn't work for you. For me right now, if I put these on here, it actually increases my FPS by 5 to about almost 10 FPS increases by adding this inside here and having hardware accelerated GPU scheduling on. Okay, so go ahead and do that. Once you're done with that, you're going to close out of this. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to jump straight into the game, show you the settings that I'm using right now at this very moment. And this is the settings that you should be using to have a smooth gameplay experience overall. And it's also going to depend on your personal preference and the machine that you're currently running. All right, let's jump straight into that. All right, ladies and gentlemen, as you can see, I'm in my game right now. And the first thing I highly recommend you go ahead and do is just go to this little gear icon over here and then go to graphics and then go to quality. Go to custom and then keep this always at 100%. It doesn't matter if you're playing at 1440p, 4K, 1080p, whatever the case might be. Keep this at 100%. Don't drop it down. You are going to make your game look like absolute dog shit. Please don't drop it down. Right now, at this very moment, at this very moment with the update and all that, a lot of people are losing frames in the game. Now, a lot of people in the comments will most likely say, look, I use this, I use this, or I use this, or they use anything inside here, and they would say, like in a comment, that runs better for me, okay? So if one of these runs better for you, go ahead and use that. Obviously, that's common knowledge. If one of these works better for you, then go ahead and use that, okay? But right now, at this very moment, Fidelity FX Cache works the best at this very moment with the sharpness, strength, 
of whatever you want to put here. Mine's at 60. That's my sweet spot for Fidelity FX Cash. I have Fulmic SMAA T2 times on. The reason why I have it on is because then I don't have jagged edges in my game. So it looks like this instead of like this. It does take effect on your GPU about medium, which isn't too bad, depending on the GPU you have and depending on the VRAM of your GPU, right? Anti-analyzing quality, right now at this very moment, I don't know if the developers are smoking like serious drugs or something, but for some reason when I put this on ultra quality, put my VRAM at 90%, put texture resolution at normal, texture filter and astropic at high, nearby level of detail at high, distant level of detail at high, and clutter draw distance at short, I do more FPS in my game than putting this at low putting this at low, putting this at low, putting this at low, putting this at, putting this at low. For some reason, I do more FPS. Now, obviously, that it doesn't make sense because obviously the lower I put my settings, the more FPS I should be getting inside this game. Now, I can just tell you that Call of Duty Warzone 2 or Call of Duty Warzone 2.0 is on some special kind of drugs. So, yeah. That's just Call of Duty for you. But right now, this very moment, I have this at normal, I have this at high, I have this at high, I have this at high, and I have this at short. And my game actually runs almost exactly the same, even if I put this at low and this at low. It runs exactly the same, I do the exact same FPS. And yeah, in the beginning of the video, I showed you there is no lag or stutter in my game. With these settings, there's no lag, no stutter and stuff like that. But you also need to do all of these things as well. So this you're going to need to put at low, very low. This has no impact on FPS in the game at all. So you won't increase or decrease FPS. So just go ahead and switch it on. This you're going to put off. This you're going to put at low, this you're going to put at off, this you're going to put at minimum, this you're going to leave off, you do not need this at all. Low, low, off, off. This is very important that you don't play around with these because for some reason the more you push this up, the more your game is going to drop in FPS and you don't want that. So leave this at low, low, off and off, right? This plays a very big role inside your game. The most important role inside your game is these over here. This is depending on how much FPS you want in your game. Do you want to have less FPS and make your game look better or do you want more FPS and your game still looks good? Now, your game will still look good if you put this at low, low, low. Spot cache is on high. The reason why I have this on high is to do with the NVIDIA control panel settings that I showed you where I put it on 100 gigs. Now, the reason if you put it on 100 gigs and you put this on high, you won't get any stutter in your game, especially in the plane. People are freezing or getting these like micro stutters in the plane where the FPS drops all the way down to about 30 FPS. And then it would climb back to its normal FPS. Then they jump out the plane. They, in their parachute or flying down with their parachute, they get a micro stutter again. And then only when they land, then the game starts running perfectly fine. Now, this will help with that issue is by putting this at high and the NVIDIA control panel settings having that at 100 gigs. This should keep at low. Ambient occlusion always off. It's a multiplayer game. You do not need this. Honestly, if you're playing competitively, then obviously you're going to need to put this off. And to have obviously a smoother gameplay experience. You don't want to have your game like lagging or feeling like it's just trash and you don't feel like playing the game because there's so much shit happening in the game in any ways. Go ahead and turn this off. This off, this at low, this off. Right now, at this very moment, it depends on your GPU and your CPU on what you're going to put this. Now, on plus boost works perfectly for me at this very moment. I do more FPS with it. I actually do less FPS if I put, if I put this on or if I put it on off. Now, it's going to depend on your machine. What type of GPU you're running, what type of CPU you're running. You saw the specs of my machine in the beginning of my video. Okay, so I have this on on plus boost. Obviously, Depth of Field, World Motion Blur, and Weapon Motion Blur, you turn this off. It's a multiplayer game. You do not need these fucking things. Only if it's a single-player game, then you would go ahead and turn these on. I would suggest turning these things on if you're playing, I don't know, Modern Warfare 2 single-player. Then you can go ahead and turn it on. But multiplayer, Battle Royale, go ahead and turn these three things off. You do not fucking need it. All right, Form Grain, all the way to put 0.00. The higher you put this, the more your game's going to look like absolute dog shit, and it's going to look like there's a bunch of ants on your screen. Go ahead turn this all the way down all right leave it like this i have my settings like this like i said and i go ahead and apply these settings from here you're going to go to view now this is your own personal preference on what you're going to do here literally it's your own personal preference on what you're going to do inside here but you can copy my settings if you want to 
over here with the view. These aren't the best settings. I can't say that it's the best settings because it's my own personal preference. You're going to have your own personal preference. Now, something that's very important in this game right now, this very moment, is go to interface over here and then go to color customization. Go to fold to two, put this on both, put both of these at 100%, go to custom, and then go here which is enemy, and then go to the where it's the color itself, put it on pink, put the saturation all the way up to its highest, and put the brightness all the way up to its highest, and say apply custom color. Now your enemy will stand out a lot in pink, especially also when you get shot. It won't be red anymore when you get shot, it will be pink, bright pink, and it's much easier to see what direction you're being shot from, where your enemies are by just running around, all of a sudden you see an enemy, they're much easier to see. Trust me, this does work, and it makes the game just feel a little bit better for you to be in a competitive gameplay, or whatever the case might be. Go ahead and turn this on. It plays a very big role inside the game. The next step I highly recommend you go ahead and do, it's very important that you do this before you actually go ahead and play the game by changing all of these settings and playing the game, you're going to need to go ahead and do this. You're going to go to your settings, you're going to go to display, you're going to go all the way down till over here, and you're going to click on restart shader optimization, you're going to say restart, then what you're going to need to do is quit out of your game completely. Now I highly recommend you go ahead and do this, quit out of your game completely, and then restart your game. Completely just restart your game. Then it's going to start installing the shaders here at the top, and then your game will optimize your settings for what you just set right now. And it will apply these settings. And ladies and gentlemen, if this works for you, leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe to my YouTube channel for your new year. And yes, ladies and gentlemen, I know every time Call of Duty does an update or something happens in COD, like a small update, whatever the case might be, or they change something, the game's completely even more fucked. Like for instance, putting the settings on low is supposed to increase your FPS. Now, before the updates for the new year and whatever the case might be you could put your settings on lower and then you would get more fps now you put your settings on high and i do more fps than what i do with low i actually do less fps by putting it low so i don't know what's going on with this game i don't know what type of drugs the developers were smoking but in anyways ladies and gentlemen i'm just here to help the call of duty community as best i can it's as much as i can do for you guys is this over here Ladies and gentlemen, like I said before, if this worked for you, leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe to the YouTube channel if you're on New Year, and become a member if you want to support my YouTube channel. It will really be appreciated. As always, peace out.